Is short stuff joining you today? I don't know who you're talking about. Pups, are you joining today? <laughs> We've got a bit more biomass now. We're running a bit low on fuel. I can see what you're saying, says Pups. <laughs> put some vertical things in just because I thought they looked cool. Put one over there as well. Which I need to... Um, it's a bit weird like that, isn't it? There we go. Just so it looks like the thing's being supported rather than floating. You know? Small details. Thank you once again, Banner. Um... Banana Halza, thank you for 64 months. Have a nice weekend. Hope you have a great weekend. What's going on with that? The lights in here. How can that be so bright? But it recedes the closer you get. Look at it. Like it's super bright reflection off a moon that I can't see. That's so weird. Unreal plus. What's the black reflection in your glasses when you look up? That's the chaos. The chaos in my eyes. <laughs> I don't know. It usually means the light's not coming somewhere. Glasses reflect things, basically. It's a reflection of the light, which is reflecting the green somehow. I don't know. It's a chroma key thing. If I turn the chroma key off, you'd probably see a white light source. Anyway, I need to drag the pups and the Sommy. Hello. Hello. Good afternoon. Turn that up a little bit. So everybody can hear puppy scream. Yeah! I think short stuff. Paul, can you come up to the Caterium, please? Uh, yeah, one sec. Oh, that's scumbaggery. Oh, Move the bell! I'm not doing that. Let's sort that out later. Did you notice the extra ramps I added? I did, and they are very useful. I think so. A little bit easier to get around. Ben GT, thank you for gifting us up to Audi. Welcome back, Audi. That makes you a three year anniversary. Please tell me you took damage then, Pup. Could you please get a Mark II lift to connect that container to that container, please? It's top to bottom. Top to bottom? Yeah. Done. And it works for you, thanks. Didn't work for you then. No, I tried it 12 times in six different configurations and it didn't work, but you do it and it works straight away, which is okay. fine. Okay. <laughs> we don't need a lot of that, but we might as well store it. Yeah, it's a weird thing, that Caterium stuff. You don't seem to need a huge amount. I don't know if they're going to... I always wondered if they'd do something with it late game. No, you do quite a lot with it once you're into advanced stuff, because obviously it's, it's about gold wire, isn't it? But... Right. Yeah. So today we need to get the iron smelting and properly online and then get the iron factory properly making things. I think we should take stock of our production in favour of more research, if you see what I mean. Yeah. Well, can I just add the caveat that let's get coal? Oh, power, I'm all over that. Yeah, absolutely. If we can research it, I can work on getting the coal online. 
powers. Or I can get the coal online, and this is what we need to unlock the coal. Yeah, but the it wire needs to is be done. neat and tidy, like the yeah. little base down here. No, it will be neat and tidy and huge. Okay, we can. We have the plates now. We have the cables now. We'd have to make the rotors. Well, I'll make fifty rotors then. Since I was f now, I'm finished with my Caterium project. But when we do coal power, can I come and help? Because I want to see how it all works with the water and stuff. Yeah. I've got three hundred cable. So if we can sacrifice 150 sheets, I'll make the rotors by hand and then... Yeah, I mean, we need the sheets for the belts, but the we're not consuming the stuff anyway, so there's no immediate rush. So yeah, use them. There should be at least a couple of hundred in the box by now. Right, let's go and sort that iron factory out. What I'll do is I'll be slightly cheeky, take two full stacks, and then I'll keep the 50 plates on me. Once we've got coal, can we research the um, the jump pods? Because I'm sick of walking all the way around this huge base. Oh, okay. I would really like to be able to move quicker. <laughs> well, jump pads is 50 rotors as well, so do you want to do coal first and then jump pads? Yeah, coal's the, the far more important. The jump pads are just convenient. I forgot where we was up to on this pole. We were up to iron plates, which are now full, so um, we just need to quickly sort that out. So we can actually make some more, because we're going to need iron plates. We're not storing screws yet, either, are we? No, that's nope. what was kind of next on my pole's list. Mark 2. Is this Mark 1 or Mark 2 output? This is all Mark 1 at the moment. Okay. In theory, that should all end up in this yep. box here. <laughs> If it's I got working. that right. <laughs> yeah, it's working. Is it? It's all coming in there. Yeah, cool. Yep. Right, that let that carry on. So this was the iron plate floor, isn't it? Yep. And is this consuming everything efficient? I can't remember. Uh, no, because it's not Mark Two yet. The belt. Oh yeah, but we built it correctly, 30, 30, yeah. 30, so yeah, so when it's done, that's that belt done, isn't it? Yep. So I guess the next thing to do is the floor above it, maybe? Yeah. Do um, rods and screws. Yeah. What was the, um, the only question I have is, yeah, we do rods, because you can't, you need rods and you need screws, but you need rods yeah. to make screws, so how much allocation do you go for rods and screws kind of thing? Like, if you just turn everything into screws, then you don't have any rods when you need them. Yep. But, you know, you need a lot of screws. Squirrel stream and birthday cake. Amazed there are still some left for your son's birthday on Tuesday without. You've still got cake from Tuesday. What is wrong with you? What happens in them? Did the phone's battery just completely fail? You got any thoughts on that, Sammy? Do we do a floor of rods and a floor of screws? Uh, or? I would probably go for as much optimized screws as possible and then have a tapped rod box. Because you won't ever need the rods at the same quantity that you'll need the screws. I mean, the, the rotor recipe, for example, is 25 screws and two rods or something. Oh, sorry, it's 25 screws and five rods. So, what, 80-20? Yeah. 
Would you like to hear a pizza joke? Well? Oh never mind, it's too cheesy SQRL rope. Funnily enough, Anonymous Moose, I had a cheese pizza for lunch. <laughs> um, are we building on top of this glass, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, I guess we'll try and start this first split roughly where this one started. Yeah, and we also need to pump another line of iron into that factory after we fill this. Yes, we do. I can't see if this is lined up. Well, if I go underneath, I'll be able to tell you. Well, you can see where it is on the grid. It, it's mm, almost the same. No, you just go back. Uh, towards you one more. There. Okay. So I've not really checked the, um, the ratios. Oh, the handcraft and screws is so painful. Well, <laughs> the ratios are a nightmare for screws, aren't they? Three rods. So it looks like 15 rods per minute in and out. Okay. So 15 plates. So 15 Eight ingots goes. becomes 15 rods. So that's a straight ratio. But then it becomes 10 rods goes to 40 screws. <laughs> I see. So, yeah, 15 to 10, the nearest, right, nearest um, factor of that is 30. So if you do two of these, two, yep. two rod constructors should drive three screw machines okay if i got that right correct amundo so two to three ratio bar and this was a 15 so we can do eight of these on a 120 belt coming in we can have eight rod production okay what we'll do is we'll uh dedicate so we're gonna have eight and 12 aren't we yes Eight rods constructed to 12 screws made in theory. But what we'll do, instead of having eight rods, we'll have six and just dedicate those last two to rod production. That sounds yeah. far. Sounds so a quarter me. of all our possible productions go into rod and three quarters to screw. Does that sound a reasonable ratio? Or do that you want to make it? Reasonable. We can make it an eighth or we can make it a quarter. I'm I'm happy with an eighth, but a quarter is probably a safer ball ballpark if that makes sense. Okay. If we had, um... and obviously, don't forget that as things progress, we can put like Mark II miners, which would double the rate, but we need to double the speed belt at that point. So, if the ratios stay the same, even if we overclocked it to two hundred percent, that's the other option. Once we've got coal online. Yeah. Because obviously the overclock causes a major power drain. Indeed. Pops, can you build a tower? Um, Have you got enough, hang on, enough rods in there? Johnny O, thank you for one and a half years. Where like it? Uh, yeah, just here will do. It's Look at that, I'm magic. I want to get up here and see what I'm doing. Milestone reached. Coal is an improved alternative power source to biomass and can be fully automated if provided water with the new pipeline buildings water. and power throughout the initial setup. Can we find water? Coal has been added to the resource scanner. Yeah. Note. <laughs> Scout the, the place for the coal. proximity of water to the coal production line. Note. Pumps will aid in vertical transport of pumps. fluids through pumps. Yes. Note. Throughput and volume pumps were laid in vertical transport. Oh, pumps. Sounds like she said pumps. I was like, what? Thought you was going to be doing. You're going to do something for a minute? Wow. Are you trying to line them up with the ones underneath? No, I don't. Well, if you could tell me. I don't think it's going to work that way.
Yeah, you need to go back towards you. Back towards me. Yeah. Yeah, but the like, problem is, but we're going to have to use more splitters, possibly. I don't know. Not sure how much it matters, to be honest. Seeing you move them around from underneath looks so stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we're going to have to send each one of the, each three of these. It's going to go eight into 12 and it's a two into three. So yeah, if I leave enough space, actually what I'll do is I'll put the 12 up first. And work backwards. We're going to need a lot of power. What, to run this lot? Yeah. Quite possibly. That reminds me, do I have a power line up here? Yeah. Is that a mod? Yeah. Oh god, it makes life easier. <laughs> and as we said yesterday, it's a quality of life mod. It's not a... Um, not a game changer. Right. Oops, I need I need some eyes down here. What would you like? Um I'm trying to work out where to put these to get it all. Because every two of these is going to go into three machines. You might be better off plate hand placing the that row. <clears throat> or do it as four twos rather than all at once. Because it's weird when you do the shift scroll thing, it doesn't quite line things up properly. Dark Fantasy, I'd kind of like to, but I, I just don't know. I don't know. So one of these needs to go into three of them, right? No, two goes into three. Two. Because each one's outputting ten. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And we need to, like, combine and split. So we'd have to go into a merger, then a splitter, basically, yeah. each one. These are all, like, at different parts. Like, none of these are equal space here. What's not? Well, they must when be equal. They are equal spacing, because I set it to be equally spaced. It's just not... They don't align with the grid, but that's not important. No, no, it's actually fine, Zinnum. Um, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll do... Two at a time. Let's space seven meters, six meters. We're going to need a space to merge and split as well. Yeah, we're going to, have to merge the these two and then immediately yep. put it into a splitter to go back out again. Do you um, think that's enough space there? Keep them there. Is the row furthest away from you, not too close to the edge, or are you planning on pulling that wall out? We'll just move the wall. What wall? Well, not the wall, but just the floor edge to where it is. Oh, we'll just expand the floor, it's fine. Okay. Not worried about that. Yeah, that's enough space. So if I drop two there, that's a six meter interval. Was that the light bulbs? Uh, can you move it to the left one more? Oh, I just did. Yeah, that works. Okay, thanks to.
Yeah, that one will work. That looks so small on your screen. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, that's what I mean. That's why I need you down, because I can't see. Can't get an overview. Out range. Yeah, they need to move to the I'm gonna, to, I'm gonna have to jump down, it's too far. Okay. How much more? That there. That one? Yep. Is there a way to delete items off your hotbar? The only way I've found is by remapping something else onto it. Okay. Which you can do multiple times. Think about it. Because when you, yeah. if you if you just hover over something in your menu and just go one two three four six seven eight nine, it just literally wipes everything out. Yeah. yeah. It's a bit clunky, but you know. It is the weekend, dude. Good afternoon, fuzzball. You down near the other edge, pups. The far opposite side for me. I want to see how far this is going. Uh, I think it's 24 total. Oh, just fell off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's fine, Paul. That works. <laughs> is that right on the edge, though? Yeah, that's right on the edge. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. So, so he was correct, it is actually 24. Yeah. Oh, I didn't mean to fall off then. You don't say. <laughs> I just saw like you. Don't know. forget before you click, you can do multiple rows at the same time. Yeah, but I'm not sure how much concrete I have. No, I don't have enough for that. I'll have to get some more. Yeah, Rob Matrix it is. It's called Smart Mod. Well, Smart Exclamation Mark Mod. It's aggressively smart. It's smart! <laughs> Shouty smart. Smart! Yes, I am. I'm smart. Hey, Greg, you're thinking for almost four years. Scary how fast that goes. Yep. these jump boots would let you jump a bit higher than they they do ouch bang my head <laughs> oh it's a long way to get concrete might have to think you about moving it over here. Question: <laughs> Just, 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 just putting this out there. You could have gone into the storage box below the floor we was on and grabbed the one in there That's, that I put there. For I you. already emptied that container, mate. I put more in there. Well, I went to the container next to the constructor thing and emptied all the concrete and used it. So if there's some somewhere else, I don't know about it. Which is why I'm going back to get some. Oh, um, also, I believe that concrete stack there on ping is completely full. Oh, this storage chest on ping, that's full of concrete. 
Okay, so on my screen, that just pings on my radar, but doesn't really tell me where it is. Uh, oh, you know where there, the space elevator is? Yeah, yeah, There's one. That's not... I don't believe anyone's been using, so the storage box is probably full. Yeah. Come and grab some out of it as well and bring it over. Yeah, we're going to do a bit of concrete. Yeah, I'll go and grab this. Indeed, Genesis. Alien nuts. Tastes great, mate. Like cashews with a bit of chicken. Holocast, thank you for 22 months. Uh, is this an upgrade for Dyson? <laughs> yeah, multiplayer 3D Dyson. <laughs> but without the stars and planets. Can't wait for that game to go MP. I hope they do it in the next few months, but yep. we'll see. Do you want me to put a storage box on the top floor with concrete here? Uh, I mean... It doesn't matter, we can always... It's not a big, big deal getting it. That's a bit more space. Right, so let's see. Please. So the first row is all raw, isn't it? Yeah. And then merge and split, if I remember correctly. Yep. Merge three, and then split. Yep. Into whatever it was. Okay, so we don't need these last three machines. Because we're going to keep these as rods. Now you can colour your buildings. Let's see what line you're building the merger on. I mean, you can place yours and I can just copy you if you want. Well, no, I just... I need to see what you're doing so I can do mine on the same line, that's all. Um, we've filled up with uh, bio logs, um, but we are not now producing any more because the storage of material has run out. So we need to expand it, do we? Or does it not matter because we're about to go coal anyway? Uh, that one. Can you check this work for Make sure I've done it right. Should just be a merge and then a split. Okay, yeah, so I am. Yep, that looks good. So when we get all these screws, what, where do we want to put them? I guess we send them to storage and then yeah, they could go up vertically from there, couldn't they? Yep. This is a great distraction from your studies. <laughs> uh, Michael Ragman, good, thank you. Hope you're well. Hey, bro. Um... Forty minutes. The three of those merged is going to take a fast build. Would you like the smart splitter? Uh, 
Um, What's the difference? It enables you to go onto it and set like overflow outputs and stuff, so you can control what goes where. But it doesn't let you control the physical item. It'll just literally say. Basically, what I use them for is before the last storage box, say for the screws. You put a smart splitter and then you put an overflow off to one of the sides and then that overflow, e.g. once that bin is full, goes into the awesome sink. Okay. Yeah, let's do it. Why not? So you're sending the surplus what into the awesome sink? The surplus everything into okay. the awesome sink. Right. So basically the production stays constant, but the overflows all go into the awesome sinks. Yeah. But considering each awesome sink needs 30 megawatts each, that's one biofuel generator just running the awesome sink, if that makes sense. So Jeez. coal is definitely the next place to go. Yeah. I mean, it sounds a good idea, but until we've ramped production up heavily, it's all, all for naught. I can't place a power pole because I've got no concrete. Good job I've got some in a chest. That's weird. What's up? Yeah, why is that at an angle? I'm sitting. Even though it's lined up at an angle. Okay. <laughs> okay. I think this game and Dyson don't play if you have very bad OCD. I think the only one where you can play with OCD is Factorio, because yeah. you're genuinely a grid. That's true. <laughs> <clears throat> right. It's those, those. I guess if we have storage immediate like storage immediately here, it means we don't have to have quite so much super fast belt. Yeah. Because if we if we want to store all this stuff somewhere else, we've got to fast belt it though, right? Yeah, that's true. Whereas if we could build a storage stack for all the screws coming out. Yeah. And then work out where we're gonna put it. Yeah, I, El, Elv, I think the reason it didn't line up is because I used the mod to put it down, and the mod doesn't require it to... Um, if you look at what the mod does, it allows you to do it in half meters rather than meters. So when I spread those out, I spread them out by six meters apart. But then whatever the size of the constructor is, it's ended up some kind of half a meter somewhere along the line. And then what that is is half a meter off, I believe. So the mod created yeah. that problem. Yeah, the constructor is like, um, it's like eight and a, it's like eight and a half meters wide, but the overhang is like 25 centimeters either side of the tile. So you'll never really get it lined up unless you only place two at once, basically.
And can I just ask, what's the power demand off the grid at this second? Uh, don't know because I'm not near a power pole connected to the grid. Give me a second. Uh, we got 300 watt megawatts capacity. We're using about okay. 180. Oh, 180 is the demand. Okay. Yeah, yeah. We got 120 headroom. Well, if, uh, I'm aiming for a 600 megawatt coal to begin yeah. with. Are you working on that now? I'm just literally crafting all the stuff for it. I'm not physically mm -hmm. building any of it yet. And I'm having to handcraft it all because obviously we don't have the advanced components in stock. Whoops, that needs to be fast belt, mate. FYI. Okay. I don't have any of that. That's what I figured, which is why I thought I'd mention it. <laughs> I'll just go and sit in a corner for a minute. Aww. I'm storage elevator is on the side of the chest. <laughs> so I like this design because we've got a triple storage yep. of, of screws and, it, and they're all end up at the bottom. So if you're walking past, you can get it yep. and the ramp doesn't get in the way. You can go underneath it easily. So I like that. It's got to do the same thing for this lot. plates and rods but yeah do you want some yeah can you just put another container on top though with the input coming from this thing here to the way that way round no nope, to the way that way no nope, to the way that way no to the way let can you spin the input round, please? It's not changing on my screen. Oh, so do you want it green or orange? <laughs> Look, I want it to come from here. Right, there you go, right. <laughs> that was hard work. Come and get these. Take these. What is it? Oh. Yeah, you, know? you might see desync within the holograms and like Paul might play something that looks like it's off at 90 degrees so it's sort of you have to just compromise <laughs> right I need to sort the input out on this lot now yep so has everything been set for rot hasn't it so 15 on each one which means we can split and then annoyingly we need to split and split. Okay. <laughs> it's just very annoying. <laughs> Cause we split once, which sends sixty each way, and then we have to split each of those again. So we end up with fifteen on the line. I think this might top my other joke. Did you hear about the guy who took a second job as a pizza chef? He needed the dough. Oh, come on. You can't lay jokes like that on us on a Friday, man. <laughs> okay, that should work, pups. Do you, one you want to do the belt on? Just mark one belt. Okay. I can do that. Yeah. I have plenty of that. There we go. 
Does that work? Yep. Not show me the lineup. You see if that's lined up now. Uh, so the front of the sp splitter pole is on this line here that I'm stood on. Is that on the? F is that right then? Where it is? Uh, no, you need to go forward one. Yeah, there. And now we just need one splitter to split them all. This has to be normal belt as well. But what comes in needs to be fast belt. But at the moment we don't have the input as fast yeah. belt anyway. But when it does... We also... I need to go and tap into a mine that we're using to bring... stuff up here. Yeah, we don't have... We've not got any goods coming in. And we don't have power connected properly yet and we may uh, not have the power rec the power production to yeah. cope with that thing <laughs> i mean to, all you got to do to connect the power pole is take this pole where i'm stood and connect it to any of the poles that i put down yeah we don't have a breaker yet do we uh, that's a four megawatt <clears throat> and we just built um what eight there and 12 there that's 20. um there's six Bio reactors down on the floor that are fueling and not being used, so I can just go and turn them on. For well, that's now. 80 megawatts there, so you'll need three, three bio right, reactors just for that when we start when we turn it on. Yeah. You know, like when the when the input stops and they go into standby, does they not take any power? No, they carry on eating the um, the full work. Eating the fuel. Wow. On the bio fuel, anyway. No, I didn't mean the no. bio reactor. I meant, I meant like a production, like a constructor. Does it take power when it's can't do anything? Uh, I don't think. No, it doesn't. <clears throat> okay. But it's the coal generators that can spool up and down as required, so they're not on full chat all of their lives. Okay. Oops. Why have we got nothing coming into this factory at all? Um, we should have. <laughs> we don't. There's supposed um, to be a whole lot of iron ingots coming in here. Let me have a look. Okay, so we've got all going in. That seems to be working. No, I, oh, I see the problem. What? So, I don't know what happened, but we're missing an elevator. Okay. Uh, hang on, I'll try and fix it. Uh, they will not do that. The coal generators outputting as much as needed anymore with the next update, as that would sort of break the accumulators. Yeah, that's true. So they'll just keep going, and if you don't have accumulators, then you're going to lose the power, right? Is the iron flowing again? Yep. Yeah, we're missing an elevator that I, that I upgraded to Mark 2, but could only put Mark 1 back. <clears throat> oh, 
Okay, so that we're now at the point where we need to repurpose an iron mine to supply our screw factory. So, <clears throat> back there where we're making reinforced iron plates. <laughs> yeah, we need to nick one of them mines and throw it back in, into here, don't we? How many iron mines have we got here? I can't actually remember. Three. These two, and then the one up here. That one's being used, isn't it? Yep. And then it's these two down here, and I don't know if there's any more around. this one provided okay this is given us iron plates and rods yeah, this one here that I'm stood at is just iron plates to fill your reinforced iron plate machine yeah which is backed up because I'm producing way too many could you not swap the plates from the other mine to take that line temporarily and then reuse that line. We could, yeah. Because once you get your new... If you can give us some plates being produced, because eventually that system will all be redundant anyway, won't yeah, it? Yeah, we could just take well, the iron plates out of this one and pump it into the machine and we can nick that mine pool. Now the first floor on our big factory's got plates. That's what it does, doesn't it? Yeah. But we need these still being made temporarily. Yeah, but if you think about it, over at the big factory, we've got iron plates and we've got screws and rods being made, which is everything you need for reinforced yeah. plates. We just don't produce the reinforced plate, but we only have one assembler here anyway. Yeah, that's true. It wouldn't take as long to knock Pay. together an assembler for reinforced plates over there, would it? Yeah, temporarily until we can build it big. Because everything we're doing here is kind of pointless once we get yep. everything else online. I'll be two seconds. Wow, where did all the reinforced iron plate go? What do we use all? I used some of it for the research. Oh, that was it. Right, I'm back. Okay, back. Wait, what did I steal? I got that. Got that. That's just got iron. All right, okay. I saw some plan. Get rid of these constructors. Leave all the containers. And we're going to reroute the. Uh, Gonna reroute these iron ingots. I didn't take any reinforced iron plate Warcraft. In fact, all the smelters are up there, aren't they? Yep, so we don't even need these down here. Oh god, I'm leaving storage boxes everywhere, look at this. I can pick them up. <laughs> like if you if you want to construct free storage boxes, <laughs> just pick up more than you have. If you want to throw all that stuff in the awesome sink on the hill near the copper. I will do when I update and says I picked it up. Oh, what is it, iron ore? Like yeah, the game's there. just lagging a second. There's another box behind you. So we want to get this over there, don't we? Yeah. I love that the game has a moment where it lags out and you can't do anything and it's like, oh, you're back in the game. You can now pick up stuff.
I put all the leftover stuff in the box. I mean. Thanks, Pops. This eventually needs to be marked too about belt as well, doesn't it? Yeah, but we haven't got a hope of doing that. Yeah. Before. So even might just put in mark one down for now. It's got so much reinforced metal to get that. Um, are you getting rid of these constructors and smelters then? Yeah. USMC, thank you for 42 months. Uh, thank you for everything you do and your mods you do. You're a class above all else. Oh, that's that's really kind of you to say. Thank you, mate. Thank you, USMC vet. I hope you're well. Taking both these mines up. Oh, yeah. Might as well. Those man is still on. They should be, yeah. Yeah, they are. Okay. I can't remember what the situation was with the smelters here. Is everything all plumbed up? I, I believe we got it all done. I think we're not. I honestly don't know. We'll just have to watch. <laughs> I think I, it looks okay. <laughs> yeah, I think we completed this all. I say think. Takes a while for this to get yep. on, wouldn't it? Yeah, and it's even further than the first mine. <laughs> How are trucks these days, Sommy? Like, did they add any more programmability to them, or are they still the same? Um, they're mostly unreliable, <laughs> um, especially if you try and path more than one on one loop. Um, they work okay, but the the whole thing with the multiplayer driving vehicles thing. I mean, the three of us would probably be okay, um, but when you're dealing with a high ping, the vehicles are pretty impossible. So, right. so basically, any vehicle is near enough, impossible or not good in MP. Well, it's fine as long as Paul does it. As in what I set up the truck. Yeah, if you would, if you, if we gave you the vehicles and you set up the route and the path and everything, it generally works just about okay. Mm. But in MP, it is mostly laggy. If if it was just me and you, Paul, on Ultra, we'd probably be okay. But I don't know what Pups, Pups has had internet problems this morning, is it? So. It seems to be fine now. Uh, I'm getting like 500 down, 60 up. So. Your truck drives pedal to the metal and flips. <laughs> <laughs> drives like Pups. 
Oh yeah, hashtag never lift. <laughs> All right, so that's going to flow. That's going to smell. The ingots are going to come over here. Let's go and make, make something happen over here, pups. All right, let's go. No, Robo Joe. It's published by the same people, but not the same studio, I don't believe. As in, from what I understand, it, it's... The same publisher, Coffee Stude, Coffee yeah. Stain, or whatever it is, but, but the dev devs. development studios are different. But that's you know that's what I heard. I haven't confirmed it. So what's being made here then? Just plates. Yep. Jeez, there's not many there, is there? They're probably all in the other container pool along the other side. They're all running at half speed as well. Yeah. Yeah, but we don't even have like half of one container. Oh. It's not like. Woo. This first one here is full. Oh, it's on the other side as well. And the second one's filling up now. Okay, it's a bit better. I was going to say there should be more than that. Well, it's interesting, the first container's got loads in it, but I guess it's just not had time to move everything. Benno, I guess, if that's the case, like, the only thing to do is kick me because you need trucked in the game, I could kick you from the chat. Kick who? It, what? Only one thing to do, kick puppies, we need trucks in the game. That's what I said. <laughs> I think he's probably joking. I know he's joking. <laughs> That's why I was like, I can kick you from the chat, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, ever since Quirk started this, it seems to just carry on. <laughs> Every game is, let's just kick pups. Well, by that definition, you started it because you went into Quirk's chat saying all kinds of stuff to try and get timed I've out. So he came anything. into my chat to say, kick you. And now the kicking started. So it's all your fault. He loves me really, Paul. <laughs> he wouldn't say that about me, but... Is it Kebab Nights for Pups? Isn't that a Saturday? Saturday, indeed. I believe. Right, plates. Um, so if you want to... We've got screws and rods upstairs. If you want to try and put some together for... Reinforced plate. Because we're going to need a lot of that. Yep. And we need to get these plates onto, what was the plan? Third floor. So we need a floor above that one, so let's go and make that. Let's grab okay. some concrete and make a floor. There's like a thousand concrete in this container. I feel I can run back and get some more though. What did we just unlock? I Smart know. splitter. There's concrete in that container. I'll go and get some more though, because we're going to need it. All right, we want to ramp up again, don't we? Yep. I have a weekly kebab. Like <laughs> weekly kebab, I love that. <laughs> There's nothing like, wrong with it. I don't even think I get a kebab every month. Like probably in 2020, I probably had like three kebabs or something. Pups, I actually think you should kick Pup, so me and Paul and stream yourself. No, I'm good. I'll leave the stream to Paul. You can't actually kick me, that's the problem. Also that. It's a flaw in that plan. Yeah, I've noticed takeaways sneaking up their prices, but my run's run by a husband and wife, and I've been going there for like seven years. I get discounts. Price of everything's going up, man. Oh. I mean, is that good? I can walk in and they go the usual. There was a time, probably 
I don't know, 10 years ago that when my vehicle pulled up outside, they'd already have my order cooking <laughs> before I got out of my vehicle. This was probably te uh, 10, 12 years ago now, I would say. But it was like, that's great, guys, but I want something different today. <laughs> <laughs> you messed up my order. <laughs> How much space do you have in your infantry, Paul? Uh, I don't know. How long is this this bit? Uh, let me get another look. You need to go longer. How's that? Another three. That's too much, Paul. Wait, it's taken a while to update. How's that then? Ah, uh, that would do. I can just. Leave it on top here. What was it? Not the right length. No, the hologram's taking a while to update. 